Are you ready? What's my name? What's my, what's my name? What's, say Kareem Ali. Say Kareem Ali. You're listening to Are you serious? The Hip Hop Debate Show. Okay, so hear me out. The official podcast of Kareem Ali. In about two seconds, Kareem Ali will begin to speak. You call. Cool. All right. Kareem Ali TV, this is the R U C. Oh, this, they're telling me. Kareem Ali TV, this is the <laughs> Are You Serious podcast. And, you know, we got a good show today. I just want to introduce some of my guests. We got Jammer One, one of the greatest live performers in Baltimore City history, in my opinion. We also got the nigga of many names. Slankster Hughes, a.k.a. the Lyrical Leviathan, a.k.a. Slick Vic Low. And we got a newcomer to the show, my guy, Ty Hill, the, the, uh, the host of the Cards Face Up podcast. And my guy has tremendous charisma. I mean, my goodness. He may be a better host than Kareem Ali here. It's kind of, I'm a little insecure in my own skin right now. <laughs> on here, you know, with the professional right now. He got the he got the background. I got a bullshit ass white wall. I gotta stuff my shit up. You know what I mean? It looks good, y'all. It make it makes your skin pop. <laughs> That's what's up. That's what's up. <laughs> I, and I love your beard, my nigga. Your beard is fucking perfect. What you use CBD oil or some shit? I appreciate it. I appreciate it. You use some berries from from Zamunda mixed with Rakonda <laughs> shit. Then yo, nah. I'm gonna ask you. Berries and juices. Actually, I use my fault. I jumped up and shit. I use five o'clock CO. You feel me? <laughs> really? I just wanted to throw the homie in there. I thought it was uh, vaginal secretions that. that <laughs> no, nah, that's 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 on weekends. Well, uh, 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 the CO isn't working. I thought maybe you might want to try Alpha and Omega Beard Grooming Kit, Yoji and Pants Alpha okay. and Omega. <laughs> what type of man do you want to be? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so, listen, today we got a show. We're gonna talk about two beasts of the MCs. Um, Back in the day, you know, in, in the NBA, there used to be a battle between Chicago and Detroit in the 80s, early 90s. And that's what we have today. The Chicago MC, Wasulu well, Jacko, Lupe Fiasco versus the Detroit Wonder, Royce the Five Nine. I saw him live. He looked more like Royce the Five Foot Seven to me. But um <laughs> <laughs> but, they, but he was ridiculous. I think he's been the best MC in the world for part of this part of the last decade in my opinion with the level of rhyme and his penmanship he's been yeah. unbelievable Lupe in the 2000s was great different types of rappers he was more of a conceptual storytelling type of MC more conscious Royce was much more of a killer with his bars but they've been going back and forth they're friends they have a podcast together but they've been talking shit to each other and, and uh, it's like uh, they've been trying to lure Lupe into attacking Royce in a battle. How do you guys think that would go? Who will win in a battle? Who's the better MC in your opinion? I think Ty, I'm going to go with you first since you're uh, the guy with the immaculate beard. Man, I'm, I'm going with uh, I'm going with Shot Town Lou. And, and, and why do you go with Lupe Fiasco? Yo, we, Lupe stopped doing the mainstream rap. He stopped putting stuff out. The bunch of black conceptual ideas or nothing like that. Lupe is a genius. Both are geniuses. But Lupe just got that edge to me. He was able to um to play different lanes out there. And he was okay with being inside that lane of the geek or the skateboarder or things of sort. Which as when we saw, what, a couple months ago, Royce got kind of mad when they labeled him as a geek. You feel me? Right, right, right. So, you know, Lupe never did. Like, you know, that nigga's at home practicing with swords and shit like that. That He's, he's a different breed. And lyrically, I just think he make, he make better music for real. Better music than Royce. Okay. Jam one, what do you think? Who's that in the background? Who's who's got like a uh, angry baby mama yelling? Not today. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> you hear that? Anybody hear that? I, I hear, it. hear it. Okay. You, you still hear it now? No. Oh, oh, oh that's coming from you. <laughs> you see, can you still hear it? A little bit. Yeah, a little, yeah, okay, hold little one bit. second, one second. Jab, we're going to get your opinion why Slinkston goes to handle one of his personalities and shit. All right, well, my opinion is going to be lopsided because I could never get into Lupe Fiasco. Why, why um, come? What's wrong with you? I don't know, man. He, he, just, he just didn't 
He just didn't grab, didn't pull me in like that. He didn't reel me in. Royce, on the other hand, it was kind of like a slow burn. Um, and he, Royce, as far as I'm concerned, he's been killing it lately over the past few years. The stuff he did with Premiere and like some of the solo albums that he put out. I think he put out one of the best albums last year, actually. I agree with that. Um, yeah, he he just been like lyrically, he's he just seemed to have he seemed to have gotten better over the years. Whereas what have Lupe been doing recently? You know what I mean? Like, has he been putting anything out? He'll come up with no. a song or two here and there. I haven't, I haven't heard much from Lupe. I remember Murals or something, but he's just one of the greatest lyrical geniuses ever. And his I'm vocal tone sure he is. and delivery <laughs> almost reminds me a little closer to you. Jabba yeah, got that. People the always fuck? giving me that comparison, yeah. the <laughs> fiasco comparison, but I, I just, I can't, I could never get into him. You know, Chuck feels the same way, and he used to irritate me with his opinion of Lupe, too. I thought it was like the old man syndrome. Y'all didn't want to give the young king his credit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I see that gray growing in your beard, so maybe you're just a, a half a generation removed from understanding. Nah. You just want us to I, get I off your lawn. Was, <laughs> is I think he came out with some really strong tracks like um like kick push in the joint that he did with Pharrell about the robot. I can't I can't remember what the song was about. But they was on his first album and I thought that he came out pretty strong with those. And I you know I was impressed early on, but after a while it just didn't, you know, it couldn't keep me. It's like so what do you what do you make of this bad? This is something that you actually proposed to me um before that you wanted to speak on. Uh, and I know these are two MCs that you hold in high regard. Who do you think is the better MC, the better artist, the better songwriter? Who would win in a battle? But they would go head to head. Oof. This this is a tough one. Um, this is a this is a really tough one. I think uh, that they're so different um, stylistically mm-hmm. that it's it's such an interesting comparison. Um, if you had asked me this question several years back. I would say Lupe, um, I was always really big on Lupe's brilliance, especially coming out the gate. Um, and so I've definitely, you know, been a fan of his and thought he was pretty amazing. And, and I've, you know, I've loved Royce since day one, you know, since Boom dropped, you know, all the way back, Bad Meets Evil first track and all of that. So I think it's really close, but it's also really, a bit of a weird comparison in this case. It's interesting. It's kind of like being like, you know, who's better, Scotty Pippen or Keith Wallace? Like, it's a really weird style matchup. Um, they both do different things great in different ways for different reasons. But um, mm-hmm. as dope as I think Lupe has been and still is, Right now, this particular moment in in Earth time, I would have to give it to to Royce because of what he has done recently. Um, yeah. he's, he's always been dope, but then at a certain point, he kind of like he kind of like super saiyaned up a bit. Like he, mm-hmm. you know, he grew the tail and his hair changed because <laughs> when he dropped those last couple albums, you know, even outside of the prom stuff with Premier, like his last couple of solo efforts have been his best, in my opinion. And I think he, he used to always get the stigma of kind of being like Eminem's Robin in a way when he was better than that. And then even on those joints with him and Eminem together, he used to have, he would be battling to, you know, keep up and he'd be keeping up. And I feel like at a certain point, he kind of, he kind of eclipsed Eminem in some ways recently. And yeah. he really pushed his level even higher. On the bad meets, you talk about the bad meets evil album. Yeah, yeah. But like, I thought and it was pretty even. I thought it was pretty even, but I feel like then a few years after that, as he began to progress even more, I feel like he pushed a little bit past that level. So I, th- I think Royce has always been dope, and recently has pushed himself even further than his own level. I feel like Lupe has always been dope, and has stayed, you know, relatively that dope. I feel like Royce has pushed a little bit further than even people thought he could. Um, mm-hmm. and really done some brilliant conceptual stuff, some stuff that is, where he, he's remained lyrical, but even done more than just be lyrical. Um, he's done some amazing conceptual stuff. He's talked about some incredibly, you know, relevant topics um, and created just some amazing music. So 
I think they both make great music in different ways. I think on stage, Lupe might have a slight edge in a head-to-head -head battle, um, especially if it was an off-the-head battle. But I think on, on Wax, I would give the edge to Royce and just overall, cumulatively as an MC, right this minute, I'd have to say Royce, Royce has the edge, but it's definitely close. So you don't think conceptually Lupe could do anything writing-wise? I think conceptually people? Lupe would do something amazing, but it might be so conceptually brilliant that it might not resonate the same way in a head-to-head -head battle. Like he might do something crazy that nobody even realized he did, but <laughs> if no one realized he did it, then it's like, did he do it? Like he might, he's like, you know, Goku against the Inu Force. Like he's moving so fast, we can't see him moving at all. But like we can't see him moving. <laughs> Hill, they're leaning towards Royce, and you gotta sit up here and take that shit. Or you just man, look, I'm, 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 I'm gonna call bullshit. I ain't gonna lie, right? Because look, it's, it's, it's sort of like saying it's sort of like saying he's Lupe's not great because he chose to say fuck music. Because I mean, y'all can't y'all y'all can't give if we're giving um Royce the edge over the last ten years. How is that even a pop, a possible comparison when Lupe ain't did music? So we got to take it back. You can't. We can't just give him the edge because he was active. The catalog is important, though. The catalog. Y'all don't have one. Even after, even with a catalog like Lupe, only had what a five year span, maybe eight mm -hmm. max. Even with that, we can't give Lupe the actual. I mean, we can't give Royce the win because Royce does not have not one song that you could say is like superstar. I mean, the joint he did on, on the last push. joint was pretty much like that, I feel like. What the joint? joint he, the joint he had Conway, Conway on. It was rather superstar-esque in the subject matter and the execution. Any, any kick push? I mean, I would put Boom no. right up there in that same quality, <laughs> but they don't make the same type of music. Lasers. I'm just talking about songs that even if you say that you don't like them, or even if you wasn't a fan that they was riding around in your car, when them shits jump on the radio, you're going to sing along. Lupe's storytelling was on another level, too. I always go back to the cool when he was a, a former drug dealer that died, did, dug himself out of a grave as a zombie, and went back to the same block that he was hustling on. For real? The cool. For real? Check yeah. it out. I love that. That was one of the most. That was one of the most amazing. That. <laughs> that was one of the most amazing songs I've ever heard. It was he say she say. I mean, the oh, whole food oh, liquor yeah. album was incredible. Then the cool. Then then the song uh, "Streets on Fire" that made it sound like was he talking about Corona? Was he talking about HIV? We don't know. Did you hear that I mean, song? Lupe. Mm. Lupe is really how we have a Kendrick Lamar, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Just an artist that allows. That's just being their self. It's no other, it's nothing else. You know, like that line that he said, this, this how fucking dope he is, is the line that he said on that little, what was it, Instagram beefing? That's what, that's what the new yeah. kids do today. Right, Got right. two old niggas Instagram beefing. But right. anyway, <laughs> they, they was Instagram beefing and Lupe said some shit like, I, what do I know? I'm just a martial artist. But right. I thought that you would understand because you're just a martial artist. Like martial literally, Madden. I think right, right. the whole... I think the whole Marshall Mathis. Um, <laughs> You're about to sway jam with what I see it in his face. I, think, I, think I see it in his face. Mathis, I think Look. the whole Eminem shit has always lowered Roy's stock to me for some reason. You feel me? And I might be the only one that felt like that. But no, I felt good, like that early on. But when I yeah. started, it was up there and then branched off and started doing more solo. Okay, this is this man is, you know, this is he's his own man now. He's no longer in Eminem chat. I mean, he's the yeah, one yeah. Hit right, but his albums are are really good and consistent. So I think that's have we ever heard Lupe lose on a track Huh? No. Would you? Right. Lupe lose on a track. Get out is, is Royce even top? Is is Royce even the best out of Slaughterhouse? I think yes. so. I think so. At this actually. point, absolutely. I think so, yeah. Y'all keep doing this this point shit, though. Mm. Just because he's the only active one. I mean, you, you got to give, him, right credit. You 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 gotta give him credit for what he's done, though, recently, because what he's done recently, it's not just that he's active, it's that he's been active at a very high level. Don't get me wrong. Like, as you state all of these Lupe stats, like, 
I'm like, yeah, it's really close. It's really close. Like, Ooh, so like then, so it wouldn't okay, take so. a hard push for me to be like, you know. But at the same time, every Lupe thing you bring up, there is a Royce counter to it in his catalog as well. Um, like his catalog is heavy. Like he got joints where the joint where he got kidnapped and and the girls took his kidney while he was asleep. Like that was real conceptional. There was there's the <laughs> other joint that he did, you know. The premiere, uh, the, the get that shit up off me joint, storytelling wise, and really, really introspective joint. Like he, they both dig into bags of tricks that are very unique to them in ways that only they do, and in ways that when you compare them, it's very like, well, this is zucchini. Yeah, well, well, this is it, this is. See, and that's another thing. That's another thing that I would say because we got Lupe as a kid. You know, Royce has have a ch had a chance to grow around us. You know, he's matured. He's had things like Book of Ryan, part one, that um song that he does with the birth of his son, and uh, I think grandmother died or something. It was it was a lot in that song. I can't remember that. Wait a minute, yeah. we got we got Royce as a kid. I was I, it was ninety nine the first time I heard Royce. No, I'm talking yeah. about what they giving us. They, they the comparison is the new Royce, the the grown up adult Royce to a twenty one year old Lupe. I want to compare them prime on prime. So whatever you think, when they were at their absolute best, whether Royce was at his best in 2018 and Lupe was at his best in 2009, who's the better MC or collectively their whole career? Royce, yeah, he's been better lately. He's been more active. But does that make him a better overall MC than Lupe Fiasco? I could take somebody right now. Kendrick, was Kendrick Lamar just greater than Rakim and whoever else, KRS-One, Nas for the past, just because he's the one of the best right now? I don't know. Right. Well, this, that's different because you're comparing two different eras. And True, but I mean, really well, goddamn, man, I'm trying to, I'm like trying to give you, I'm trying to give you something. I'm trying to give you something to, to understand. What was what I'm Lupe trying to last album? We, when was Lupe last album? We probably in two different eras now. <laughs> I thought he had something in 2014. Did he have something in 2014? Something like that, yeah. The know. last thing I remember is Merle's. And that was like 15, 2015 yeah. or something like that. And that was incredible. I mean, the, 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 the lyricality of that song was unbelievable. I give Lupe the edge when it comes to overall artistry, storytelling, and the album making, even though I think it's really close. But when it comes to technical rhyming, it's, they, they're, they're doing two different things. But um, I give Royce the edge if it came down to MC Bragg, a do show, battle yeah. rapping, rapping. Rapping, he's yeah. good at rapping, rapping about rapping. I think Lois is, yeah. Lupe isn't really um battle formatted or structured in that way. It's more, he's more right, akin right. to want to tell a story and be introspective and Royce is more yeah. coming for your throat. So if they would have actually battled, I would give Royce the edge, but you could win in the battle by taking things out of context and just creating some crazy story. If I had to battle one of y'all <laughs> niggas, I would, I would talk about how I was raising your son. <laughs> Yeah, um, Slankston said something. Slankston said something earlier about um, Lupe possibly being better off the top than Royce the Five. Now, I have I never heard Lupe's freestyle. He and, freestyled for nine minutes the other day on uh -huh. on, on a video yeah, but, all about Royce for nine minutes. It was, it's time. all just completely off the top. Like, Quick so, time. You can tell it was off the top, and some of it was like, "This is irky. Like, why are you still going?" But then other times you said, like, you know, like that martial arts line is like, wait. Oh, he said that in the battle. It might be trouble. <laughs> Lupe, so alone Lupe makes does, you be like, okay. Go ahead, go ahead, I would say Lupe freestyle is more like um fucking Snoop freestyle. They can do it for very long periods, but it's really mm -hmm. just fun and um exercise. Um, okay. If you're talking about a fucking uh, Royce, Royce shit is I rhyme because I rhyme and I can rhyme very, very good. And this word goes with that word. And you haven't heard this word in a long time. And this goes mm -hmm. with that. It makes no fucking sense sometimes, but they are great <laughs> rhyming words. You know, it's sort of like <laughs> it's sort of like the Eminem shit. Like, you, you know, hey, saying? I know way more words than you. I read books. <laughs> and that that sometimes will blow me when it comes to. I feel like they be making sense. That's, that's part of the art they form, do, though. They be making, they be making sense. It's part of the I'm art form. That's part of the art form to be creative and, and bend syllables and shit. These are, this is the <laughs> art that's, form. The, that's the Eminem thing, and that's why I said that I, I felt like that was smothered him sometimes because it forced him. Let's just think about it. You get on um Eminem, 
song. Like, and, and Eminem's not gonna give you a fucking um. Since I'm in a position to talk to these kids and they listen, I ain't no politician. Like that was a a, a, a lyrical. When I'm making sense and I'm actually saying something, right? But the majority of the time, Em is just giving you a lot of fucking syllables, and it forced Royce in a lot of songs to stick to that format of, yeah, yeah, "Hey, yeah. I'm just not gonna let him bust my ass." I know big words right, too, right. like <laughs> you know. Because <laughs> at the end of the day, it ends up looking more lopsided than it is just because he's putting more alphabets. Exactly. In the comment <laughs> section of that Lupe video when he was freestyling for nine minutes, somebody said, like, well, he's just making all of this up right now, but it, most of it is better than most of the industry right now at the same time. It's like that is actually true. And it's it's an indictment and it's impressive at the same time. But I think that if you're just talking about head to head just the fundamentals of like, okay, I'm going to diss you and you're going to try to diss me back. Royce will diss you and you will know it. It will be very clear. Lupe might diss you and you might not even know it until later on because he might just tell a whole story about, about a, a cow and a, and a camel and, and he went to another planet and then he came back and then by the time he gets back, you're like, wait, did you diss me yet or not? You may, he may have really dissed you bad, but you, you and the audience nah, he gonna have, have to, no clue. He gonna have to explain that shit like, nah, see, what y'all didn't know is his mother used to smoke camel cigarettes. And he grew up on a farm and he had one cow. Like, yo, know, that shit be so... so he's gonna have to give the audience, like, you know, a, a, a cheat sheet. They need to clean the notes. So, in conclusion, oh. these guys are really far apart as far as their approach but they're really close together in terms of talent. It's just their approaches mm -hmm. is different. Like, really, Scotty Pippen can make a lot of jumpers on Rasheed Wallace, but then Rasheed Wallace could probably dunk on Scotty Pippen. I'll be able to stop mentioning the big nose Scotty Pippen. If she needs to be a favorite two players. <laughs> God dang. <laughs> yeah, they, they definitely, talent-wise, I mean, they both are fucking incredible artists. I don't take shit from neither one of them, you feel me? Um, I'm just going to slay, go on the um, Lupe side, but... I'm saying talent wise, they both are fucking incredible. I mean, top <laughs> top tier again, but like Slankson said, we impressed with a lot of shit today because we don't have a lot of shit today. So it's <laughs> that's mediocre, mediocre is the new dope. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a fact. Wow. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just glad they're good. talking Shop, about battling. Like, this is so much more, this is a thousand times better just in theory than the actual Drake and Meek Mills battle ever was. Oh, this guy has to, he, he finds a way to stick it to Drake somehow. <laughs> Every time he gets a chance. He lowers the ball for all of light skinned time. God damn. Hey, okay. it, it put a lot on that man back. <laughs> for all of light skinned kind, though? All right, look, man, we gotta, we gotta bring this shit to an end. Kareem Ali TV, are you serious? Very serious. So I have to stand here today as what I was when I was born, a black man. Your racism bounces off me, I'm bulletproof. Your prejudice gets deflected, I'm bulletproof. Your hatred can't penetrate me, I'm bulletproof. Our minds can't be shackled no more, nah, we know the truth. Yeah, from the spot that Malcolm stood, looking out through the window, I'm looking out over my...